Chapter 1. The Desperate Revelation in the Dimly Lit Laboratory of the International Astrophysics Research Center, Dr. Alara Sinclair sat hunched over her computer, analyzing data from the latest solar observations. She had stumbled upon something unprecedented, a revelation that would shake the foundations of human existence. The normally vibrant and optimistic scientist was now burdened by the weight of a discovery that threatened to unravel the fabric of reality itself. As Dr. Sinclair poured over the data, a sinking feeling gnawed at her insides. She couldn't believe what the numbers were indicating. The sun, the life-giving star at the center of the solar system, was on the brink of cataclysmic destruction. It was an inevitability, a cosmic time bomb counting down to humanity's demise. Unable to carry the weight of this revelation alone, Dr. Sinclair sought the counsel of her colleague, Dr. Jonathan Mercer. Together, they cross-verified the data with other experts, and the grim truth became undeniable. The sun's demise was imminent, casting a shadow over the fate of Earth and its inhabitants. With a heavy heart, they brought their findings to a hastily convened world summit. Leaders from every nation gathered, their faces reflecting a mix of disbelief and horror. The news, however, was not contained within the walls of the summit. In the age of instant information, the revelation leaked to the public, triggering widespread panic and chaos. Religious groups seized the opportunity to weave apocalyptic tales, adding fuel to the already raging fire of fear and uncertainty. Governments grappled with not only the impending calamity but also the social unrest that threatened to engulf the world. As the discussions unfolded on the global stage, another blow struck the scientific community. The initial estimates had been overly optimistic. The sun's catastrophic event was looming closer than anticipated. Desperation set in, and the world turned to its brightest minds to devise a plan for survival. Two teams were formed, each tasked with a distinct mission. Team 1, comprising the finest scientists from around the globe, took on the challenge of monitoring the sun and formulating a plan to avert the impending disaster. Team 2, however, faced the daunting task of planning for humanity's survival in the aftermath of the sun's explosion. Days turned into nights, and both teams toiled ceaselessly. Team 1 discovered that the sun's condition was even more dire than their initial assessments had indicated. All hope now rested on the shoulders of Team 2, who were brainstorming radical ideas to ensure humanity's survival beyond the imminent catastrophe. Dr. Adam Gray, a brilliant physicist, proposed a daring plan involving tachyon particles and time travel. He argued that if they could master the manipulation of tachyons, particles that purportedly moved faster than the speed of light, they could potentially travel back in time, altering the course of events that led to the sun's demise. Skepticism rippled through the scientific community, but Dr. Gray presented a meticulously crafted plan, complete with mathematical equations and a potential experimental setup. The world leaders, facing the impending doom, reluctantly gave the green light to both teams, allocating unprecedented resources for their endeavors. And so, with time ticking away, the fate of humanity rested on the shoulders of scientists racing against the inevitable, seeking salvation in the uncharted territories of space and time. Chapter 2. The Descent into the Abyss with the World on the Brink of Chaos, the two teams of scientists worked tirelessly driven by the urgency of their monumental tasks. Team 1 continued to monitor the sun, their faces etched with grim determination as they witnessed the star's ominous transformations through advanced telescopes and monitoring equipment. As the situation with the sun worsened, hope dwindled within the ranks of Team 1. The once brilliant minds now faced the daunting reality that their efforts might be in vain. Nevertheless, they pressed on, determined to find a solution that would defy the very laws of nature. Meanwhile, Team 2, under the leadership of Dr. Adam Gray, delved into the uncharted territory of tachyon particles and time travel. Theories were tested, equations were scrutinized, and experiments were conducted in controlled environments. The race against time had become a literal battle against the clock, with the entire future of humanity hanging in the balance. After numerous setbacks and failed attempts, a breakthrough finally emerged from the labyrinth of scientific inquiry. Dr. Gray and his team successfully harnessed the elusive tachyon particles, paving the way for the construction of a time-traveling device. 
the potential to alter the course of history lay before them like a shimmering beacon of hope. The world watched with bated breath as the teams prepared for their respective missions. Giant spaceships, constructed by the collective efforts of Team One, hovered in Earth's orbit. These colossal vessels were humanity's ark, intended to carry a select group of individuals to a distant and hopefully hospitable destination in the cosmos. On the other hand, the time-traveling device, developed by the ingenious minds of Team Two, was integrated into one of the spacecraft. The selected individuals who would undertake the journey into the past were chosen for their expertise, resilience, and adaptability, a group of 283 geniuses who would carry the weight of humanity's survival on their shoulders. As the two teams bid farewell to the world, they could feel the weight of responsibility pressing down on them. The giant spaceships launched into the vast expanse of space, disappearing into the cosmic void, while the time-traveling vessel initiated the Tachyon Drive, its occupants hurtling through the temporal fabric. Within the time-traveling spaceship, the atmosphere was tense yet hopeful. Dr. Adam Gray, with a quantum watch in hand, monitored the progression of their temporal journey. The sensation of time slowing down, halting, and eventually reversing was both awe-inspiring and disconcerting. The team marveled at the possibilities while grappling with the implications of their unprecedented experiment. Just as they attempted to disengage the Tachyon Drive, a glitch in the complex machinery threw their meticulously planned mission into disarray. The time-traveling vessel halted abruptly, vibrations resonating through its structure. Panic gripped the team as they desperately tried to regain control. Dr. Gray, undeterred, retrieved his quantum watch and confirmed the shocking truth. They had not only traveled back in time but arrived on the very day of Dr. Alara Sinclair's initial observation that set the catastrophic events in motion. The realization hit the team like a tidal wave. They were unwittingly the architects of the impending doom, the cause of the sun's catastrophic fate. The Tachyon devices emitted ominous sounds, and before the team could take any corrective action, the spaceship descended rapidly toward the sun, succumbing to the extreme heat generated by their own ill-fated experiment. In the dimly lit laboratory of the International Astrophysics Research Center, a young scientist named Dr. Alara Sinclair observed a mysterious event unfolding on the surface of the sun. Little did she know that her observations were not merely a scientific curiosity but the catalyst for a chain of events that would spiral into the abyss of humanity's darkest hour.